Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. We're here at American Angus Association headquarters in St. Joseph, Missouri to bring you the week's top headlines, including the positive outlook for Angus cattle as the industry enters expansion. Just released data from USDA indicates the continued value of black Angus over non-Angus counterparts, and genomic testing makes further advancements for Angus. This is the Angus Report. Hello, I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. With just four months left in its fiscal year, the American Angus Association reports strong growth in demand for registered Angus genetics. We sat down with interim CEO and longtime Chief Financial Officer Rich Wilson to discuss the business outlook for breeders and what's next for the member-driven organization. The association as a company. Uh, the balance sheet looks is very strong. It's uh, the operations of the company are strong and there's growth there. If you're looking at the breed itself and how we're performing, just the sale averages here this past year for bulls have increased uh, 35 percent, uh, females about 50 percent. Our growth within the association is about six and a half percent in registrations. Uh, we look at our certified Angus beef program, uh, another very strong year on top of several record years. We look at what's provided in our Media Center, Angus Productions, Inc., and uh, continue to offer more opportunities for our breeders to promote their product. Uh, as I mentioned, AGI is, provides uh, genomic and CPDs for our breeders to make better breeding decisions. So many, many reasons that we are strong in our position in the industry today. Making sure your cattle have plenty of access to water and shade can make all the difference during the long, hot days of summer. Megan Rolfe with Oklahoma State University says the quality and temperature of the water made available to the herd could impact future productivity. She shared with us some of her ongoing research at Oklahoma State, studying water intake in more than 800 animals. So when the temperature of the water goes up, an animal's water intake requirement can go up as well. When water quality decreases, uh, you can also have uh, reductions in water intake voluntarily by those animals. Um, so because water intake is involved in body temperature regulation, uh, reproduction, uh, pretty much all of the, the biological processes within an animal, anytime that water intake changes, um, there could potentially be um, consequences in terms of production. If you're looking at a situation where you may have a pond, um, you have to keep in mind that, that uh, that's not going to be shaded as a general rule. So that temperature can be a little bit higher than something that you might find in a shaded location. Because um, shaded water is one of those heat stress mitigation strategies. The U.S. Meat Animal Research Center in Clay Center, Nebraska, evaluates all levels of production throughout the nation's livestock industry. And each year, the center's team of researchers release updated adjustment factors when comparing performance EPDs across various beef cattle breeds. We've been uh, releasing the crossbreed EPD adjustment factors from Clay Center for almost 25 years now. But uh, this year, for the first time, we're including carcass weight as one of the traits that are being analyzed with that so that uh, commercial producers will have a new tool to compare their animals across breed for another economically relevant trait. Over the last few years, we've, we've really continued to see where breeds have been selecting hard. Just take Angus, for instance. Um, partly yearling weight now with carcass weight available have very, very strong trends in growth. Um, making up to a pound and a half to two pounds on average per year and it's brought Angus into a competitive position with several of the other continental breeds being equal in yearling weight and equal in carcass weight basically while, uh, while still maintaining a nice birth weight at the same time. To view the latest EPD adjustment factors released by the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center, visit the newsroom at bifconference.com. Members of the Livestock Marketing Association, an organization representing about 75% of local livestock auction markets across the United States and Canada, hosted its 14th annual convention and the World Livestock Auctioneer Championship June 10th through the 14th in Waco, Texas. Our Government and Industry Affairs Committee talked about some important topics for us. One of those would be uh, doing a nine-stop listening tour this summer of our membership related to gypsum requirements. Another important thing we talked about was animal disease traceability. Uh, we're a little over two years now into there being a federal animal disease traceability rule. If livestock are moving across state lines or 18 months of age or older, they need to be officially identified. Many times those cattle are getting officially identified at your local livestock market. 
The election process that precedes the American Angus Association's annual convention of delegates is underway. Nominations of delegates close June 30th, and now all active, live, and regular members will have until August 7th to vote for whom they would like to represent them in Overland Park, Kansas, November 5th. That's when the organization will host its annual meeting, all part of the Angus Means Business National Convention and Trade Show. More information about that event is available at angusconvention.com. We go now to Jenna McCrell with a look at news you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Crystal. California Angus breeders have a chance to become more familiar with genomic technology during a forum hosted on August 4th in Modesto, California. The American Angus Association and the California Angus Association are coordinating the event, which will be offered free of charge. To learn more about the event, contact Angus Regional Manager Terry Cotton. The National Junior Angus Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma will be underway next week as a near record number of Angus cattle are expected to compete in one of the most anticipated events of the year. The National Junior Angus Association invites its members to participate in a fun activity during their travels to Tulsa by printing out and coloring Flat Andy Angus. Great prizes will be handed out to those who share their Flat Andy photos via social media. Visit Angus.org for complete instructions on how to submit your photos, and we look forward to seeing you next week in Tulsa. And that's what you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Jenna. When the Angus Report returns, why it's easier than ever to make measurable herd improvements and hit quality targets. Later, we'll continue this week in celebrating our nation's freedom with veteran and Angus breeder, Jerry Gustin. Visit Angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Your herd, your business, your family. You've always protected what matters most so you know how important vaccinations are for healthy cattle. And with Vista vaccines from Merck Animal Health, you know you're covered. No other vaccine works like Vista. Only Vista gives you complete dual action pneumonia protection and complete one dose fetal protection for the entire pregnancy. Protect what matters most. Talk to your veterinarian or animal health supplier about Vista. Join the team, the Beef Quality Assurance Team. Getting BQA certified shows you're committed to practices that produce the highest quality beef in the world. And by visiting BQA.org, you can take the online certification course at a time that fits your schedule and from the comfort of your home or office. You'll also find lots of helpful tips on improving animal health and animal handling practices. Get certified, BQA certified, because it's about doing the right thing. Visit BQA.org today and become a member of the BQA team. At 44 Farms, we believe work starts at sunup and doesn't stop until sundown. We believe in order to live off the land, you have to love and respect it. We believe that cattle aren't just raised, they're nurtured. And we believe when you do things right, with honesty and integrity, well, things like quality and consistency happen naturally. 44 Farms Steaks, responsibly raised all natural beef. The sun is up, the heat is on, and your cows are under stress. Keep them cool and keep them grazing with VitaFirm Heat, a complete mineral and vitamin supplement for your cattle. Research proves VitaFirm Heat improves performance and feed utilization during summer's hot days. VitaFirm Heat is loaded with organic zinc, copper, and B vitamins to fight stress caused by heat and fescue. Plus, VitaFirm is powered with the AmaFirm Advantage, ensuring abundant rumen microbial populations for improved feed utilization. The heat is on. Keep your cows cool and keep them grazing with VitaFirm heat. Learn more at VitaFirm.com. Working your cattle just got easier. Introducing the new Vet Gun delivery system, a new way to apply topical insecticides to your cattle. The Vet Gun lets you remotely treat cattle with effective parasite control, so you can do it just walking among the herd. It's that simple. The proven topical insecticide AML Vet Cap is used with the Vet Gun. It works fast to control horn flies and lice while minimizing stress on your cattle. Fast, easy, effective. Vet Gun. Check with your animal health supplier for availability. 
Hey cattlemen, the Angus business comes to Overland Park this November with the Angus Means Business Convention and Trade Show, educational workshops, entertainers like Sammy Kershaw, and an industry-leading trade show. Plus, we're giving away a Caterpillar skid steer to a lucky attendee. All cattlemen are invited. Get registered at angusconvention.com. Horn flies cost cattle producers nearly $1 billion a year. They interrupt grazing, cause loss of blood, and impact your bottom line. By incorporating Altacid IGR into your supplement program, you can prevent the emergence of adult horn flies. Altacid IGR will significantly reduce stress on your cattle. For pennies a day, you can control the most costly parasite and increase your profitability. Contact your feed supplier to incorporate Altacid IGR today. Did you know, every dollar invested in the beef checkoff returns $11.20? Did you know that without your checkoff, foreign demand for U.S. beef would have been 6.4% lower? Did you know, due to your checkoff, 15.7 billion more pounds of beef were sold in the U.S.? While you manage your operation, your checkoff investment results in higher prices, which means stronger returns for your bottom line. Get to know your checkoff at mybeefcheckoff.com.